So ladies and gentlemen, what a time to be alive. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start a social media marketing agency this year. Now, I want you to go ahead and close out all of your tabs because for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes, however long this rolls on for, you're about to get information that is about to drastically alter the course of this year for you. I'm gonna share some stuff that I've never revealed before on how to start a social media marketing agency. And if you stay until the end, I actually have a huge giveaway for you guys. I did one of these videos last year and there were quite a few giveaway winners from that. But in order for that end giveaway to make sense, you have to watch through the entire video. This is not one of those videos you're gonna want to click around, skip around for. You're gonna wanna have your eyes glued to the screen every single moment. I'm gonna be referring to you here, referring to you here, and then also we're gonna be checking out my screen for this presentation. So let's get straight into it. How to start your social media marketing agency in 2020. Here's what we're gonna go ahead and cover. Is running a business right for you? Ask that pretty fundamental question, but one that I think a lot of people don't really cover. What is a social media marketing agency? How to find clients for your social media marketing agency and how to service those clients. So is running a business right for you? Now let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros, more free time, greater chance of higher income than traditional nine to five. And when I say greater chance, I mean just preposterously higher, just, um, you know, it's, it's really night and day in terms of your, your earning potential uh, starting a social media marketing agency comparing to working a nine to five. The ability to travel and work flexibly, Right now, I'm actually here in Cape Town, South Africa. I decided to come out here for three months. Actually, a great, great place to work. Uh, only two hour time difference from London, where I live. So super easy with team calls, client calls, sales calls with new potential clients. And uh, all in all, great weather, lots of sun, can't complain. A lot of people who start a social media marketing agency actually build it alongside working a nine to five or being in college or even being in high school. You see, I started my social media marketing agency at the ripe age of 16 and I actually managed to scale it in early 2017 to the point where I was making more than my principal, making more than my teachers and I actually ended up dropping out of school. I don't recommend that for you, but that's the journey that I had with social media marketing and I've never looked back since. Now, let's talk about the negative. There's more responsibility. There's no guaranteed income. Now, I run growyouragency.com, which is the leading education company on earth for agency owners. And you know, I've had thousands and thousands of students and to be very blunt, and I wanna be very transparent and honest with you, there are students who deserve to get a client in the first month, considering the work ethic they put in, considering the amount of clients they reach out to, and they only get a client in month six. Conversely, there are people who, to be honest, don't really put in that much work and probably deserve to get a client in month six, but end up getting a client in month one. There's always that air of luck and timing, no matter what business you're in, that is always something you need to take into consideration. Next thing is you answer directly to yourself. Now, for a lot of people that is a positive, but in a lot of ways that can be a negative because you have to keep yourself accountable. And that kind of brings us into the next point, which is it's more mentally taxing. So. What is a social media marketing agency or an SMA? Well, I kind of ruined it there. An SMA is a social media marketing agency. Now here is what SMA is not. It is not a formal business that requires an office, employees, or even a legal corporation. Guys, I don't have an office as you can tell. I'm here in Cape Town. Now one of my employees did fly out earlier this month to just come see me. You know, it's nice to be one-on-one -on -one with your employees, but that's another thing that I want to mention is you don't need employees with a social media marketing agency. You can literally work off of contractors and you can scale up those contractors. So those contractors can work with you, you know, as you get two clients, three clients, four clients, five clients, and maybe once you have five clients and you have sort of a predictable base of clients, then you can take a contractor who works with you, you know, to deliver the results for clients and you can turn them into a full-time employee like I did. Now, the next thing that SMA is not is something that requires intense knowledge of digital marketing, SEO, Google ads, Snapchat ads, branding, content creation, et cetera, et cetera. Now you might be super confused. You're like, well, I have an agency that delivers results for clients. The one thing you need to understand with having a social media marketing agency is you can use something called contractor arbitrage. Now remember I told you about that contractor I had who worked with me on three, four, five, six client campaigns and then eventually I brought him on full time with my agency. Well, I have an agency that runs ads for e-commerce and info product businesses, but I actually got my start with a creative agency. So I actually had a creative agency. I was doing video work, photo work, posting it on social media. But when I transitioned to having a Facebook ads agency, to be honest, I really wasn't very good at Facebook ads. And I brought on my contractor and he actually delivered all the results for my clients. I just knew enough about Facebook ads 
to sell that to clients. And then I had my contractor deliver those results. Now, these days, I know a hell of a lot about Facebook ads. But to be honest, that's from my own knowledge that wasn't necessary to grow my agency. And you can see a perfect example of this where there's two business partners, and one business partner delivers the results and one business partner sells. Now, I don't recommend business partners if you're starting your social media marketing agency, because it just makes it twice as hard to make the same amount of money. But think about it, the person who's selling has a good enough knowledge to actually sell the services and the business partner that's doing the service delivery, you know, they're not that great at sales, they don't really want to get involved with selling, but they're great at delivering the services. That is the benefit of having a contractor. Social media marketing is also not about getting rich quick or, you know, even making tons and tons of money. Many enter into social media marketing to make a sideline income. Look, as I said, I have students making $65,000 a month profit, $25,000 a month profit, $18,000 a month profit, $10,000 a month profit. And I don't recommend that you do this now, but after this video, go to my channel and I have tons and tons of student interviews and you can see their stories of how they started from zero and grew their agency. But you need to understand that a lot of my students just like to make an extra $2,000 a month, like to make an extra $5,000 a month. A lot of time, it's not about making these huge, huge numbers and turning into multimillionaires. A lot of people just want to replace their current income with social media marketing income. So what is social media marketing? It is a simple business model. You run an agency which provides services to clients. It's nothing super interesting. It's not this weird hack or trick or tactic. It's just you have a service based business that provides services to clients. Pretty simple. Now this can be done from anywhere in the world and you can offer your services to any businesses in the world. This is another super important thing to remember. I see a lot of agency owners when they first get into it, you know, they're thinking, Oh, but you know, I live in a small city or I live in a small town or there's not enough leads around guys. I don't see any of my clients face to face. I have all of my sales calls on zoom. I have all of my client check in calls with the team on zoom. And to be honest, I never see clients face to face and they don't care. And I don't care. I like to run my business remotely. And that is also the way that I teach all my students at Gray agency to do the same thing. Now, here are just some uh, GYA Gray agency secret tips. One to two clients can replace your nine to five monthly income. Keep that in mind. I always say you are literally just one client away. You're one client away from quitting your job. You're one client away from getting that dream watch you've wanted. You're one client away from getting that dream car you've wanted, whether that's that first client or you already have multiple clients and you just need one more client to get that dream car you've always been wanting. Remember that keep that in your mind, you're one client away. Next thing is you don't need to quit your job to start a social media marketing agency. It takes a fraction of a normal job. And I recommend that if you currently have a nine to five, stick to your job and build your agency on the side. And the next thing is getting started is the hardest bit. It's much easier from then on. This is something super important to remember. I was actually doing a student interview and I was talking about the difference between when you start your agency and when you actually have an agency. You see a lot of people watch videos just like this and you know, you soak up all the information and you're here and this training is going to change a lot for you. But you know, a lot of people will watch this and then I'll watch, you know, six, seven, eight other videos and they'll soak in all this information and they'll do this for two, three months mentally trying to prepare themselves and nothing happens. You know, they're just procrastinating on their success. Okay. And you know, that example I gave you with a student for three months, he did the exact same thing. And then eventually one day he decided, he told me the day it was January 10th. He decided, okay, today I'm going to start reaching out to businesses. 24 days later, he signed his first social media marketing client and he's making the same amount from one client as he would have been working a nine to five job after getting a university degree. So getting started. Okay. All you need is a laptop email. You just need a simple Gmail account and you need a social media account. This is what you don't need. Employees, office, software, registered business, degree, website. That's also another thing I feel as though holds a lot of people back. They feel as though they need a registered business. Now, I don't know in your country. I know that in America, in UK, you don't need to be a registered business. For example, myself, I got my first agency client August of 2016. And from August of 2016, all the way until April of 2018, when the new personal tax season rolled around, I was actually operating as a sole trader. So I wasn't operating through a company or anything. It was just me. Obviously, I was tax registered. And that's important that you are tax registered. But I didn't have a business or a limited company or this or that. I was just operating as me as someone who's self employed. So if that's holding you back, please don't let it once again, here's some more great agency secret tips. The best agencies are the simplest ones. I really cannot stress this enough. I've seen so many agency owners out there complicated. I've seen so many full service agencies that are making $20,000 a month in revenue 
but they're only taking home like three, four thousand a month in profit because their their agencies are just so complex. They were working with ten different niches. They're offering ten different services. They're offering an upsell, a downsell. Everything is just all over the place. The best agencies on earth are the ones that are the most simple and the most streamlined. So the next secret is you don't need a website, okay? But you can create a simple one using ClickFunnels. Go ahead and check out the link below. Get a fourteen day free trial. And I'm actually building out a new agency website on ClickFunnels. I also use ClickFunnels for case study funnel for my agency, for my onboarding funnel. Literally, I use ClickFunnels for pretty much about everything. And the next secret tip is you can buy a personalized domain from one dollar a year and a Google G Suite from five dollars a month. I strongly, strongly recommend you do this because for five dollars a month, rather than reaching out to clients as uh, you know, let's say eman at gmail.com, you can reach out to clients as eman at Exampleagency.com, you know, your your actual agency name and you can name your agency whatever you want. As I said, you don't have to have your agency name as your registered business. For me, I was IG media for two years before I even started using a business. And even to this day, my registered business isn't even my agency name. I operate as a different name. So don't let that scare you. Just pick an agency name, whatever you want to make it. Don't overthink it. But definitely get a business domain because it just shows clients that you're a little bit more serious and you're going to get a better response when you reach out to clients, how to find clients for your social media marketing agency client equals anyone who needs more customers. So step number one is choose your niche. It's easier to reach out and get results for one particular type of client. Okay. Choose one, you know, lots about you understand and that you already have some ideas for leads for and it can change guys, you know, it doesn't have to be set in stone, you can, you know, work with a niche for a couple months and then realize that, hey, you don't like working with them. And then you can change niches. Okay, just as long as you're not trying to work with everyone under the sun, it's better to hone in your focus and hone in your attention on one niche. So just in the United States alone, there's 38,000 gyms, there's 200,000 dentists, and there's 600,000 restaurants. So for anyone who thinks there is a shortage of clients out there, that is just three niches in the US alone, 38,000 gyms, 200,000 dentists and 600,000 restaurants, there are no shortage of clients out there for you to lock in. So step number two is make a list. Okay, you want to make a little bit of a lead list. Okay, so you want to start local, you can go broader later, but start local and just create a Google sheet or for now, it doesn't need to be complex. It can be a Google sheet, it can be a Google Doc. Hey, it can even be pen and paper, but just write 10 to 20 businesses, their business names, their phone numbers, their email addresses, website and Facebook and Instagram pages. So make a list of 20, 30 to start. So that is the process of lead sourcing. And that is basically just collecting a bunch of leads that you intend on reaching out to and just collecting as much information about those leads as possible. So that way you can have the highest likeliness of setting a meeting with them. Outreach. Okay. So choose your method, whether that is cold calling, whether that's cold emailing, whether that's even DMing them on Instagram. And if that sounds a little weird and wacky, that is actually how I got primarily most of my clients. My first five, six, seven, eight clients is just cold DM outreach these days on Instagram. I know you can record for like a minute and it, it chops up into 15 seconds, but you can actually record for that long back in the day. Um, I would just have to do like a 15 second, send it 15 second, send it 15 second, send it. And really, you know, it was really, really simple. I would just give them one, two, three tips. And I do that text and I just go, Hey, I just shot you over a couple pointers, a couple of places that I think you're leaving money on the table. Now, obviously I can't give you a full audit of your business in just three short paragraphs. That's why I left the juiciest stuff for a one on one meeting. So I'd love to set up a time to set up a quick coffee, sit down, chat about where you can make improvements to your social media marketing strategy and see whether it makes sense for me to come in and implement those strategies for you. If worse comes to worse and nothing comes of it, you have literally gone a free audit. You can run away and, and do with that as you wish. Now, keep in mind, this is back when I actually used to do one on one meetings. I stopped doing one on one sales meetings back in mid 2018. But back at that time, I was doing one on one and doing local businesses. Now, the next thing is go ahead and make yourself a simple script. Actually, if you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. But as I said, don't click ahead, stay attentive, stay focused on the training. As I said, at the end, I'm going to make your life a lot, lot easier because uh, I have some bonuses for you, as I said, just for sticking until the end. Next thing is set yourself a daily outreach target and book a follow up meeting. Now, 
Here's a very, very, very simple example. As I said, if you stay until the end, I'm gonna give you some extra resources to really get you started and get you on your way. But a simple outreach message is, hey, my name is Iman and I help restaurants get new customers. I've just had a look at your website and I noticed you're leaving a lot of money on the table in your business. I have some great ideas for you to get more customers in. Would you like to discuss them? As I said, this is basically about as basic as it gets. Something that I would use more, as I said, is kind of something along the lines of that Instagram messages, those Instagram DMs and little video DMs that I used to send. For me, the most important thing is selling the meeting, not the service. Let me repeat that because a lot of beginners in social media marketing make that mistake. You are selling the meeting, not the service. So when you're reaching out to clients, don't start talking about the benefits of your service, this or this or this or that. Don't talk about your service at all. You are just selling the meeting and how the meeting has infinite upside for them and basically zero downside. That's why, you know, when I gave the Instagram example, I went, hey, look, if nothing comes of this and you want to go ahead, take these strategies and implement them yourself, that's totally fine. I want to make sure that this is a win-win scenario for you. So that is super, super important because you need to understand these business owners are busy respect their time, make sure that the meeting is an absolute win-win for them. It's infinite upside with zero downside. Very, very important. Now, step number four is the meetings. Now, meetings can be virtual, especially if abroad. As I said, I have all of my sales meetings via Zoom and you use another simple script, explain your proposition, sign client there and then, and get an invoice paid and agree a start date. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the meetings. As I said, if you stay until the end, the thing is with this free training is we're on YouTube and YouTube, everyone wants the three minute video, the seven minute video, the 10 minute video max. If it's a 10 minute video, it's really stretching people's attention span. So I'm going to try and keep it pretty short and sweet and give you the bare bones in this YouTube training. And as I said, very, very shortly, once we get to the end of this training, I'm going to go ahead and give you some extra resources to get you on your way. So within the meeting, the first initial stage is the dig phase, right? You're here. You're really just excavating and digging up some information about their business. Next, you are moving on to the motion stage. Okay. Because you need, you really need to understand the ins and outs of their business. And you're actually going to go ahead and use that. You're going to use phase one in order to seal the deal in phase three. Now, I need you to understand that people buy with emotion and then they justify with logic. You see most things on earth that you buy, you don't buy it for the thing. You buy it for the way that it's going to make you feel or the way that it will change your future life predicament. Think about the last time you bought a pair of shoes or you bought a computer or Hey, think about the last time you paid for college. You know, you don't really pay it for the information you pay it for the assumed future life that it's going to give you. And it's the exact same thing with business owners. Every single business owner wants to make more money and they want to make more money for some specific reason, whether that be upgrading from a three bedroom to a five bedroom detached house, whether that be buying a new Rolex, whatever it may be, business owners want to make more money in order to fulfill that vision for their future life. So remember when you are selling them, it's super important that you don't only focus on the features and the benefits of your service, also future project and get them imagining what life will be like once they use your service in order to get those results that they want. So the next phase is logic. Now, remember what I said, people buy with emotion and justify with logic. So you need to use that first phase, that digging phase in order to get numbers, to understand their business and to really make it clear why it's a no brainer. And that's when you use it in phase three, the logic phase. Last thing is close. Very, very simple. If you've done the first three things right, it should be a no brainer and the closing, it doesn't need to be a hard sell anything like that. The most important thing when it comes to closing is, as I said, making it a no brainer, making it such an obvious decision. And the way that you do that, as I said, you future pace, you future project what the future will be like after you come in and you deliver those services for them. And you also solidify that using logic. And at that point, it's really a no brainer. And that's how you almost guarantee a close. So step number five is you rinse and repeat, you sign a client, you make client money, and then that client will go ahead and give you referrals. And trust me, the longer you are in the agency game, the more and more referrals you get rinse and repeat this process again and again. So here's some more grow your agency secret tips. Number one, integrate zoom with your calendar for video calls. If you have Google calendar, you can get this integration for zoom and Google calendar. So that way, whenever you send a Google calendar, 
calendar invitation to someone's email, it'll auto generate a zoom meeting. Super, super useful. That way, you know, they can go on their calendar, just press join zoom call. And that way you are on the video call with them. Next thing is never offer free trials. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand the free trials never convert because even if you get them results mentally, you need to understand the expectations. They've gone from paying absolutely nothing for something for 30 days. And then you're charging them a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month in their mind. They're not like, Oh, that's great. I got a month for free in their mind. They're like, I didn't have to pay for this before. And now I'm having to pay for this. So trust me, trust me coming from the person who, as I said, runs the largest education company on earth for agency owners. I've trained thousands and thousands of students. I'm telling you right now that free trials do not convert into real paying clients. Another thing to note is the best clients are independent. Okay. They're not chains. They have high margins and a small team in charge. Next thing is use invoicing software to get the client to pay there. And then, okay, you need to understand that you have not closed the client until they've paid. They are not a client until they have paid for the service. So how to service your clients. Step number one, pick your service. Okay. There are convenience offers and there are results driven offers. So a convenience offer might be content creation. You know, they could still pretty much do their own content creation with their iPhone, this, that. But if you have a professional camera, it's the convenience of it. It's you editing it, etc., etc. Another example might be social media management, you know, where you're managing their social media that you're posting for them and you're growing the social media platforms. Now a results driven service is something like paid social advertising, email marketing uh, and SEO. So I strongly recommend that you go for paid social advertising. That is the easiest place to start. And usually that is where you're going to get the highest retention. So as I said, with paid social advertising, you get the most obvious ROI. It's the easiest to learn and there's no software cost because you can just advertise directly with Facebook. Okay. Now at this point you have two options. So pick your method of service delivery, either you outsource. And I already mentioned this earlier on about outsourcing and using a contractor or you do it yourself. Outsourcing is easier to scale. Doing it yourself is easier to start. So then step number three is pick your delivery channel, whether that be Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, which is obviously a part of the Google ads platform, whether that be Snapchat ads, LinkedIn ads, TikTok ads, the easiest place to start by far is the Facebook channel. So the reason that is, is because there's more users, which obviously means more targeting. It's the most user friendly platform. There is native lead generation on there. I'd say that's probably reason number one. Step number four, create your Facebook business account and integrate client. As I said, create a Facebook business account, request access to clients page through business manager and create ad account. Very important. Use clients payment method. You never, ever, ever want to charge ad spend. You charge just your service fee and then the client hooks up their card to their business manager. So whenever you run ads for them, they get billed directly. You don't want to be handling that money. It's a nightmare. It's a mess. Instead, let your clients just pay directly on the ads manager themselves. Step number five is create your adverts. So you go in, you press the top right button and it just says create campaign when you're inside ads manager of the considerations, you choose lead generation. This basically tells Facebook what is the objective of this ad. Next, you create your audience. You set your demographics, location, age, gender, if, for example, you're working with a gym, you can literally put that postcode or you can put that street plus one mile. And instead, you can target by locations and then you create your budget. Now, in terms of assets, which means, you know, the images and the photos, your client supplies the assets in terms of the copy, you know, the actual writing for the advert. You do that yourself in terms of demographic. The client will tell you what their demographic is, and then that'll give you a good sort of compass as to what direction to look in. And then you can kind of tweak from there. Next step is create your advert. Now you want to write compelling copy that relates to your audience. Long form always works better than snappy slogans. You want to avoid using stock images. Okay. Use lifestyle content, simple test. Would you post it on your own timeline? The key and the number one tip I can give you for running ads for your clients is if the person looking at it can tell it's an ad, you've done it all wrong. You just want to make it look almost like an organic social post, something that their friend posted. And that's why a lot of time iPhone images actually work the best when you're running ads for clients rather than like some super professional camera or even stock images. I mean, stock images just avoid completely. And then lastly, use a desirable offer to create a strong call to action. Now users can be followed up by phone, email, or encouraged to visit in person, set up an automatic lead export from your business manager. So your client is notified with each new. And this is all made super, super easy using Zapier. So 
As I said, here's some more grow your agency secret tips. Outsourcing saves you time and gets the client better results. You can create customized lead forms inside ClickFunnels. As I said, see the link below to get started with that and using Zapier for everything. Okay, just use Zapier for everything to automate leads being sent to your client and for SMS follow up to leads. So here is the next step. Go to the link in the description below, sign up for free training and receive two free bonuses. Remember when I told you guys earlier, look, I'm going to go ahead and give you two resources to get you started. Well, number one is my cold call plug and play. This comes directly from my paid course. Okay. That's directly ripped from there. So it is a five page document on exactly what to say in your cold calls in order to get success. I also give you an hour and a half of live footage of my old sales guy from my agency closing three meetings out of 10 calls live footage of that. I also give you a short abridged sales script of what to say in the meeting to guarantee a close. Now, a lot of the times the anxiety actually starts once you close the client. So I got you because the next thing you are going to get is actually a six page plug and play on how to run ads step by step in excruciating detail for local businesses, you know, restaurants, gyms, chiropractors, real estate agents, et cetera, et cetera. Literally, this is click by click exactly what to do. And the way that you get this is you click the link in the description for the free training. I went ahead and put together an extended two and a half hour behemoth free training. As I said, guys, YouTube is all about seven minutes, 10 minute, 12 minute videos. So even just the, the length of this video doesn't really favor the way that people like to watch stuff on YouTube. But I want to go further in depth and give you guys even more value. That is why I went ahead and put together that free training link in the description and watch all the way through. And as I said, you'll even get those two bonuses directly from my paid course agency incubator. Now that is not all before you go ahead and do that. I have a massive giveaway for you guys. So I want you to go ahead and comment in the comment section why you believe social media marketing is the best business model out there. And for every hundred comments, I'm going to go ahead and give away a one hour free coaching call. Now to this day, you cannot pay me to speak to you one-on-one -on -one unless you're a client for my agency, IG media, in which case I charge 25,000 pounds for a two day training for me to come in and consult you and your business. And once again, you have to be an actual business owner. This is business to business and 25,000 pounds equates to roughly around $32,000 and it's two, eight hour days. So I'm charging people around $2,000 an hour for my time at the moment. And you have to pay for two days up front. So if you want to go ahead and get a free one on one coaching call, as I said, I don't do coaching. I don't do mentorships. I don't work with anyone one on one unless they're paying me $32,000 flying me out to their office and they're a business making multiple seven figures a year. So the value on that is immense. The last time I did a video, there was a bunch of winners from that. So as I said, comment why you believe social media marketing is the best business model. And for every hundred comments, I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner and we'll have a chat and I'll coach you on your journey. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment and you will be valid for the giveaway. Then after that, pick a time, check out the free training and make sure you stay until the end to get your free gifts. I hope you guys have enjoyed this free training. Can you go ahead and smash the like button for me taking my time out of the day to create this lengthy step-by-step -step guide for you? I appreciate all of you and I hope you guys enjoy the extended free training in the description.